Okay, we're here at 3112 Peoria Avenue here in Simi Valley. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. Uh, the house is on a concrete slab, so make sure that the general inspector runs the water everywhere. Uh, we're going to run our camera from this 4-inch clean-out located where the pipe exits the house. We'll also take a little camera and run it from the kitchen clean-out. These are the only two clean-outs really available to us. Um, I'll take a quick little look inside anyway. But we've started off by running our camera from the 4-inch clean-out located where the pipe exits the house. And remember this the inspection is based on my opinion. So right now we have our camera in the line. We're actually in the city sewer right now. So let's bring the camera back. This is actually the city sewer. So when we bring the camera back, here's your connection to the city right over here. Right over here is the connection. So we're going to bring the camera back. Now this looks like it's in pretty fair condition. It's difficult to say whether this pipe over here is like an asbestos pipe or a clay pipe. Um, it's very predominantly in this area that it's all... I, I'm not exactly sure what kind of a material it is, but it appears to be in, still in fair condition. It looks pretty good. Okay, then it comes onto the property, changes to a clay pipe over here at the sidewalk. This is seven feet deep. You can see there's pretty heavy roots over here in the line. And then what it's going to do, it comes back <coughs> here to an Orangeburg pipe. And an Orangeburg pipe is in very poor condition. You can see it's got heavy bumps in it. Um, it's a very poor material. <coughs> it's definitely going to need to be replaced. <coughs> so let's keep coming back. You can see it's got bumps in it. It's really not good condition at all. Very poor condition, the Orangeburg. Okay, so here it's going to come out of the clean-out here. Here we are in the front of the house. We'll go ahead, pause the recording. Okay, so what we've done is we're running a little camera through the two-inch clean-out located here behind the kitchen. Just to let you know, there was a lot of grease in the line, a lot of grease built up. We had to like, run a lot of water to get our camera lens clean. Uh, we're actually in the main line all the way outside to the clean out outside where we started to run the camera from. Now we're going to bring the camera back. You can see we have a cast iron pipe here that's getting very old. You can see it's, at, you can see it's got quite old, the pipe. Definitely has some rust build up in it. This, this pipe is getting pretty old. It is functioning. I mean, we ran a lot of water. We flushed the toilets and stuff. Um, you can see it's got a lot of grease buildup in it. Look at all the grease buildup in it over here. A lot of sludge and grease. So we definitely want to recommend... Okay, let's see. This looks like ABS plastic here, no? Yeah, you see, this looks like ABS plastic. PVC so listen why don't yeah I think so there is some cast iron that's getting pretty old there is some PVC piping it's you know obviously we cannot check every pipe in the house is the only place we can gain entrance to but there is a lot of grease build up in this line as it starts coming back towards the kitchen. We're definitely going to recommend that the line be hydrojetted here. We definitely want to, on, with a very low pressure, to clean out the grease and stuff. We definitely want to recommend the pipe in the front be replaced and put a two-way clean out outside of the house. Um, hopefully that that can um, help with clearing any blockages or anything like that. 
But the cast iron looked like it's definitely getting old. It is functioning, but it's getting old, the pipe. Um, here we are in the back of the house. Um, you're going to be very careful what you're flushing down your toilets. No tampons, baby wipes, paper towels. Uh, we, that's the minimum we can recommend. Um, if you're obviously going to have problems over here, then we would highly recommend you replace the cast iron pipe. But this is all on a concrete slab. So we'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.